Greetings, Cascade View, Tuckwilla, and Thorndike art students. Mr. Kaufman here. What is an onomatopoeia, besides a word with a lot of vowels at the end? Well, it's a word that sounds like the way it's spelled. Words like pow, crash, click, bam. So today on Virtual Art School, we're going to explore and draw an onomatopoeia. First thing we need to do is we need to do a little brainstorming on some possible words that are onomatopoeias that we can use for our picture today. Remember that onomatopoeia seen in cartoons, comic strips, graphic novels, anything a word that's spelled and makes that sound. For instance, pow. Sounds like an explosion, or boom would be another example. Zip would be an example. Zip, like zipping a coat. Splash. Like jumping into the water. What sound would it make when you jump into water, throw a rock in? Click. They don't all have to be loud like when you're clicking a mouse. So, first thing, draw up a list of onomatopoeias, then take the paper and fold it in half. So we only need a half a piece of paper for this. Line up the corners, make sure they're lined up, run your finger down the center, hold it down with this hand, it's gonna slip and slide. So back and forth, now you got a half a sheet of paper, perfect for the size we're gonna work with today. All right, I'm going to go with POW, a nice three-letter onomatopoeia. Makes it easy to draw, less letters to deal with, but a fun one to end up with. So, first thing, I'm going to draw out the eraser. I'm going to draw in all capital letters. You're probably wondering, why am I drawing with an eraser? Because if I don't like it, I can erase it, because it's already erased. You can kind of see the eraser marks, so it's perfect. Good way to plan your design. All right. Second thing, very lightly, and I stress the very lightly part, draw the lines on top of the eraser marks. Again, use capital letters. You can use lowercase if you want, but capital letters seem to work better for this. Okay, wipe off the eraser marks. Now, it's time to start thinking about this as a shape instead of a group of letters. So, I'm going to start going around my letters to create bubble letters.
will see you next time on Virtual Art School.